Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel for the first time. My name is Elizabeth, I'm currently on a ferry. We woke up on the ferry, it was an overnight ferry. We started in Oslo, Norway, and then took the ferry all night, and now we are arriving in Copenhagen, Denmark. So we are going to have a fun day planned here today. I'm not exactly sure what we will get into, but we are going to get on some public transportation, get to our hotel, and then we'll be in for some fun. So we made it off the ferry and off public transportation and now we are at our hotel. It's Hotel Kong Arthur. I look super, super cute. But we just got here and put our luggage in a luggage room. So they're gonna hold it until our rooms are ready around like 2.30, 3 o'clock. We're gonna go out and explore. It's gonna be fun, but this place is adorable and I'm really excited to see what we can find in the next couple of hours. We made it to a park. I will put the name of the park that I got a video of on the sign here so you can see. But we were just walking around exploring. We might find some Christmas markets and then we're going to find some lunch. because Ben and Kayla love food markets and so we came in. We are having empanadas. They look so yummy. Um, I got the chicken chorizo and one of them has steak and like peppers and I think it has mushrooms in it too. I'm not a huge mushroom fan but it had everything else that I really like so. Can you show me? What are you eating? I don't know. Do you break it and it's like creamy inside? Maybe I should just bite it. What do you think? It's kind of like a, like a whipped cream. But it's coconut flavored. Do you like it? I mean, I wouldn't have a second. And I got the yellow smoothie. Tastes like pineapple. You better like them before you buy them. Love it. So we're done with lunch and we are walking right now to the botanical gardens. What did you think? It was awesome. I don't remember the names of any of the plants. Did you read any of the names? A few of them. Did One of them was like called it? like the purple something. Would you recommend it? If you like plants. Do you like plants? 
They're okay. Would you do it again? No. <laughs> So we are on our way now to Rosenborg Castle, which I think is coming up right here. All right, so we made it to the Christmas markets. My camera is about to die. But I want to show you this. It is so beautiful here! As soon as I said that, I had to switch to the iPhone. But now, we will show you. Look at how beautiful. What do Very you think? beautiful. <laughs> made it to our hotel. We are all checked in now. We are just having some downtime. I think David and I might go out for a little walk around this area um, and then go out to dinner as a little like date night tonight and then meet up with our little group later for a different Christmas market. We want to get an ornament. We have a travel tree at our house and we like to collect ornaments from the different countries that we go to. And then we also year round on our dishwasher because our refrigerator is not magnetic. Um, we collect magnets and so we picked up this one from here and then the little girls that I watch. Uh, this one's for the oldest. I got the other one. Actually, I might actually have it in here. On the ferry, I got the younger one this one. So that's going to be super cute on their fridge. And the best part about these, so usually I bring them back magnets and they are breakable. These are like a bendy, like plasticky, I don't know, squishy magnet, which will be perfect. So we went out just on a little walk, went to a souvenir shop and got a book. This author, Hans Christian Andersen. He, I guess, lived here and wrote like the Little Mermaid, Ugly Duckling, mm. Snow Queen, the Emperor's <laughs> clothing or something like that. I don't know, but the Ugly Duckling and like Little Mermaid and stuff we can get back at home. And so we saw this one was like, that's unique enough. Haven't seen it um, with any of the kids or like read it with any of the kids that I watch. And I was like, that would be perfect for our future child. So we are going to take that home with us and it'll be special to have from Denmark. But we are back, this is our hotel and there's an Italian restaurant right underneath. We're gonna go here for dinner because I have the best husband in the world who puts up with me eating Italian all the time. Yes. <laughs> all right, let's go. All right, we are done with dinner, our little date night. David, what yes. did you think? It was incredible, definitely worth it. Yes, it was the most expensive meal we have had in probably years. What did you have? We both had some we sort both of had... like ravioli pasta. Here, I'm gonna move out of the way. Um, I, so mine was <laughs> mine was ravioli with ricotta and spinach. And, and mine, uh, but I don't know what the name of the sauce was. Mine had like eggplant and cheese in it. So really good. good. And the bread, oh my gosh, the bread was incredible. Hers was a little bit better than mine, but I, I still really loved mine. 
I don't know if it's just because I haven't been able to have like regular bread, sandwich bread, rolls, hot dog buns, everything like that at home um, mm. because of my allergy and the way like things have changed in like the way they make food in the States lately. But like this guy came out, he's like, it's safe for you. You can have it. There's no sesame. Anywhere. He saw that she wasn't picking it up, picking up the bread yeah, and, and came back and said, Yes, it is okay with your allergy. I double checked. And oh my with gosh, the it was the most delicious bread. I don't know if it's just that I haven't had bread in a long time, but it was so good. And then after we like cleaned our plates of all the pasta, there was still like some sauce left. And he came back and he was like, Do you want more bread? In Italy, we take the bread and we clean the sauce off the plate. I was like, If you're offering, absolutely. That sure. sounds incredible. And we did. It was so he good. He was so happy to, mm. to see us clean the plate. Yes, so 10 out of 10. It was called La Roca, L-A space R-O-C-C-A. It was so good. So 10 out of 10. And it's like right there on that corner. And then our hotel is like right in here at this sign. All right, but yeah, we're gonna go meet up with my aunt and then, ooh, it's bright. And then we are going to head to another Christmas market, I think. So we made it to Tivoli. This is like an amusement park for that has like all the Christmas markets and Christmas lights and everything set up. It is so pretty so far. Obviously we just walked in, but I'm really excited to see it. You do have to pay to get in, but it is um, looking like it's very themed and beautiful. Alright guys, we have been here for quite a while. It has been so fun, so beautiful. We got an ornament to go on our travel tree. And then the two little girls that I watch, I've watched them since the oldest was two and a half. The oldest is gonna turn eight in May and then the youngest turns four here in a couple weeks. This is the one we have for us. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Oh yeah, it says Denmark on it. It says Copenhagen. It says Copenhagen on it. <laughs> And then the oldest little girl was an arctic fox for Halloween and I like just think that's so random and it's so funny that she chose that but I stumbled upon this arctic fox ornament which will be perfect for her she's gonna love it so much and then the other one is like all wrapped up and taped um, but they have like a little I think he's like a schnauzer type dog and he's like a new puppy and he's like black and white And I found a dog wearing a sweater That's an ornament that looks very similar to their dog. So I'm so excited to give it to him But that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed tomorrow. We might go to Sweden. We might stick around here. We're trying to get reservations into the there's like a the Bali a Bali inspired hotel with like a pool 
here in Copenhagen that we would just love to do, but you have to like, since we're not staying there, you have to apply to like get in and see it. So we'll see if that happens. We don't know. So we don't know what's going on tomorrow, but that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.